I should probably give you guys some backstory on exactly who my friend Ken is. So back in 2005-2006, uh, I was living in Dallas, Texas. I had two boys that were, one was teenager, one was 10, I believe, Patrick and Dustin. But my relationship with their mother was coming to an end. That chapter in my life was closing. So I was a little bit lost, wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to do, what I wanted to do, where I wanted to go. So I rented a loft at these lofts in Dallas that was an old grain mill called the American Beauty Mill. I had gotten on MySpace at the dawn of MySpace. So I was on MySpace a lot and was promoting my photography on MySpace. And I'd had a couple, about a year to get that established and it was just really taking off on MySpace. I had a friend on MySpace, Shauna, who was friends with a gentleman who was friends with Tito Ortiz. And they were having, they were some mixed, mar there was a mixed martial arts event in Dallas. Pav and I both were kind of interested in the same girl. But Pav was coming out from California and seeing her, so I didn't realize she was seeing anybody. He hit me up on MySpace because I had, I had custom designed my MySpace because it was open source and I had learned web design. And that's really where I was going more than photography at the time because I thought I would be a web designer and be able to take my own photos for websites I designed. So Ken hit me up to design his MySpace like mine. So I did a custom MySpace for him. I ended up doing a custom MySpace for one of his fighters, Razor Rob. After I did their MySpace pages, Ken hit me up on MySpace and said, hey man, I'm starting this mixed martial arts sports agency. I could definitely use an in-house photographer. How would you like to come to California and just you know, uh, check it out and see if it might be a gig or a job you might be interested in? So I literally did not spend the last Thanksgiving with my immediate family, with my kids. I ended up getting on a plane and taking a chance and flying to California in November of 2006. And I met Ken, Razor Rob McCullough was living here, and Ken basically invited me out, said if you'll come work for me, I will pay to move you out here, you can live here. Five minute walk to the Huntington Beach Pier and my over million dollar house for free. So it was, even though I'd already rented a loft that I hadn't even gotten fully moved into, it was an opportunity you know, sometimes things come around once in a lifetime and I really was in love with my loft in Dallas, but decided to take a chance and I moved to Huntington Beach and I've been in California ever since. I did it over. Do what? Brain dead hungover. <laughs> I don't drink, dude. I know, I don't either. I used to, but we took four tequila shots and then I drank three or four beers when I got back to the house. While I was editing the vlog, but you guys were outside like going crazy. No, I went to this chicks. Dos Toros. Did you really? Yes. You left? Yes. Alright, so we are finally on the way to the party. We're supposed to be there, Ken, what, 12 30? 12, 12 30? Yeah. And it's 10 after 1. I'm not feeling very good. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why. Wrong turn. What, somebody's driving yeah, around. She's still. So we have some crazy, or some lady, I think Ken might have pissed her off in traffic or something. She's just following us. We don't know who the hell she is. Who is she, Ken? I have no idea. She's just following us. It's going to be interesting to see if she follows us, follows us up Emily's Drive. Because it's like on the side of a cliff. You have anything to say about this, Ken? I haven't punched a chicken in days. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's about that time. All right, so we lost the crazy lady. She turned off, but she followed us. We made the wrong turn, and she followed us to the wrong turn, and then you turned in the driveway, and she followed us to the U-turn to the driveway. Yeah, that, that was, was weird. weird. Next right, and then your destination is ahead. You have arrived at your destination. 
Jesus, holy crap. That's uh, Josh right there. Yeah, I saw Josh. A whole bunch of people coming to the party. This driveway is insane, dude. Where's Carl Carlos? Is that Amanda? I don't know. Here. We made it. We're only two hours late. Oh. I'll get the beer. Dude, Gula, you guys want to be in my YouTube vlog? Hello? You want to be in my YouTube vlog? YouTube vlog? You're my YouTube vlog now. Really? Yeah. Ooh. Hello, guys. <laughs> Just for five minutes in a row, hit the face, hit the face by arm. It feels like electric, you know? Yeah. It's like, oh, I come back, my face is all swollen, I'm bleeding. I sit in the stool, and uh, Coleman gets in his face and says, You wanted a war, Brody, you got a war. You wanted a war, you got a war. Brody goes, I don't want a war, dude. <laughs> I don't want a war, I don't want a war. Shut up, give me some water. <laughs> Normal. Yes. Yes. Right. This way, this does. This is southpaw. Yes. So it's opposite. And the reason why you want to know what handed is because if he wrestles normal, this is how he shoots. But sometimes they fight this way and have to switch their stance to shoot. Yes, right. And you have to know that because if he, because if he's just handed, he's gonna shoot here and makes it more effective. But if he has to switch stance, he predicts the shot. Look at throw it at me. We did Luca's birthday party today. Didn't get a lot done for the vlog. I was kind of stuck at the birthday party, so the vlog's a little light today. I didn't get my good time lapse this morning, but I'm still not too worried about it. I'm just gonna fill it in with what footage I was able to shoot tonight, and I think that'll be good enough. by the words that you 